Today I'm going to tell you about Denny's. Denny's, also known as Denny's Diner on some of the locations signage, is an American table service diner style restaurant chain. It operates over 1,600 restaurants in the United States, including Puerto Rico and Guam, Canada, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Mexico, the Dominican Republic, Guatemala, Japan, Honduras, New Zealand, Qatar, Philippines, United Arab Emirates, Curacao, and the United Kingdom. From 1990 through 1993, Denny's offered a free meal to anyone on his or her birthday. The offer included a limited number of meal options from a special birthday menu. The promotion began in the 1990s, though occasionally individual franchises had offered it before that time. Because too many people went to Denny's more than once on their birthdays, the management had to restrict the rules to only one meal per person per birthday, only on the actual birthday, with proof of legal birth date required such as a driver's license or other photo ID or a birth certificate. Since 2009, the restaurant chain has offered a free birthday build your own slam on the customer's birthday. In 1994, Denny's began renovating its stores with a lighter color scheme. Select locations also began serving Baskin Robbins ice cream for a short time. Houston, Texas was the test market for the chain-wide renovation. Denny's opened their first restaurant in Australia in December 1982 in the suburb of Forest Hill, Melbourne. Some Denny's restaurants employ the diner concept using modular buildings that resemble classic 1950s diners. The diner concept was created by Ron, Marsha, Mark, and Todd York, the principals of Denny's franchise, SWFRI Inc. Today, there are about 40 Denny's diners in the United States. Additionally, there are several diners that resemble the modular buildings but are actually stick construction. Denny's works with the Humane Society of the United States to address animal welfare issues. In 2008, Denny's began switching to cage-free eggs. In 2012, the company announced that it will work with its suppliers to move away from the practice of keeping pigs in gestation crates. In 1994, Denny settled a class action lawsuit filed by black customers who had been refused service, forced to wait longer, or pay more than white customers. The $54.4 million settlement was the largest to date under federal public accommodations laws established 30 years earlier. A 1993 incident occurred when six black United States Secret Service agents visited a Denny's restaurant in Annapolis, Maryland. They were forced to wait an hour for service while their white companions were seated immediately. In 2017, staff at a Denny's in Vancouver were accused of making an indigenous woman pay for her meal before it was served. After the customer left, restaurant staff called police to report the incident, alleging that the patron had a sharp metal object in their pocket. Denny's Canada responded, stating that the company was conducting an internal review regarding the incident. Just to be clear, racism is not okay and is not tolerated. We have to treat all races with respect and courtesy and not discriminate against any race. We must all be treated, taken care of, and served equally. In June 2017, eight Denny's locations in Colorado, including Colorado Springs and Pueblo, abruptly shut down due to a franchise owner failing to pay nearly $200,000 in back taxes as well as over $30,000 in sales tax from the previous year. In addition, several employees claimed there were issues with accounts not being paid, bounce checks, and paychecks not arriving on time. As a result of the seizure of the eight Denny's locations by the IRS, numerous employees were left without employment and claimed that no advance warning was given regarding the sudden closures. The franchise owner responsible for the closures immediately fled the state of Colorado. In 1988, almost every Denny's closed for Christmas for the first time. Denny's signature combo was introduced at an Atlanta location in 1977 as a nod to the city's hero, Hank Aaron. Aaron had shattered Babe Ruth's home run record of 714 hits at the Atlanta full-time country stadium three years earlier, and clearly his breakfast-minded fans hadn't stopped partying. Now see adventurous kids Ethan, Brandon, and Suzette have breakfast at Denny's. At Denny's today. Let's go eat. Yeehaw! I ordered pasty nachos, and also I ordered a peanut butter chocolate milkshake. Denny's was founded in 1953. Denny's was born in Lakewood, California. Denny's was originally called Danny's Donuts. First, Denny's, Crescent, Anna, Open, and Fort Myers, Florida. This is delicious. Denny's is awesome! Thank you for watching this Adventurous Kids episode.